everyone, it's Julia. I'm working on this cute little pillow and I wanted to show you how I add the color and detail to the background of this muslin. I'm ha I have a 13 by 13 inch square muslin with a fleece back here that I'm working on. My first step is to add the grass line and I'm using this decorative stitch on my sewing machine. This is a great way to use your decorative stitches. I have a Janome memory craft sewing machine and I have my line drawn on with a pencil very lightly but this is not a straight line I'm kind of, I kind of has a little hill to it I'm adding two different colors of acrylic paint with a stiff brush and just have a little bit of that paint on that Tupperware lid there very little paint and I'm also using a very dry brush and I'm using that paper towel to kind of get some of the paint off before I put it onto my fabric. Now I'm adding some color to the sky and just in just pieces here and there I don't want a lot of it just kind of want to add some interest. And now I'm taking out my gelatos. Now gelatos is a water soluble product um, and I'm using two different rubber stamps here and I'm wetting first and then I'm applying the gelatos to the rubber stamp. I find that because they are water soluble, I make sure to heat set this after I'm done. And then it kind of melts right into the fibers. And I really have no problem with it wearing off or rubbing off. My pillows, I recommend just spot cleaning. But I really have no problem with them at all. And here and there, I'm just placing the little rubber stamp. And I don't, I'm not after a perfect impression here. Again, just adding some detail and color. Now I'm on to the grass and the green gelato. I'm placing the pieces now on the kind of how I want them. These are 100% cotton and I have heat and bond light on the back of them to make them so that they can be ironed on. The larger flower there is going on the back side and so I kind of got that out of the way. And then I'm going ahead and I'm ironing this down. The one flower does not have heat and bond on the back so I'm just kind of using a glue stick to get it into place. And now I'm taking the time to kind of iron over all of it and just heat set to the, those, the gelato. Now I'm to the sewing machine. I, do, I am doing a free motion stitch here, which is just a very sketchy stitch. I just love it. It's, a very, it's free motion, and so I'm doing the driving. I have my feed dogs completely dropped. What's so fun about this is I can move my fabric any direction without having to raise the, raise the pressure foot at all. And it's just very relaxing. I go over it one or two, three, two to three times. I'm adding the little, the little hairdo now. And I'm going back down now to add the feet. This is very relaxing and I hope you just enjoy just watching. Another fun hairdo.
and that is it. I'm all finished with all the, the stitching except for the eyes. And I'm drawing these eyes on first with a pencil just to get the placement. And then I'll take it over to my sewing machine and just fill in the little circles. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a chance to give it a try. And I hope you have a chance to sew today. Thank you so much. Bye.